Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to extract all the date values between two dates from a list. So let's get started. This is our sample data set, a list of date values. And by the way, the data set is officially stored as an Excel table. I can click on the table design contextual over tab to verify. You can see the name given is called data. And our goal is simple from this date values. We want to extract all the date value that falls between these two dates. Okay. Now, for instance, we've got 1st of January to 31st of March representing the first quarter. The second quarter is 1st of April to 30th of June. And the last quarter is 1st of October to 31st of December. So we want to extract all the date value respectively here. Yeah? And that's gonna be an awesome operation. Now, to do this, I'm gonna use one of the most powerful and perhaps my favorite function in Excel called a dynamic array filter function. So without much talking, let's get into the business. So I'm gonna to come to cell C2 and type in filter. Now the filter requires the array which is going to be returned based on the include argument that's gonna flow into the array. So for the array, I'm gonna give the entire data set. Now this is what is called structured references syntax that is only available in Excel tables. The first is the name of the table which is called data. And inside the square bracket is the name of the column, which is called date. So I'm going to copy it and put in a column. Now the include arguments will be, now you can see in cell C1, for instance, we have two date value, one to the left and one to the right, separated by iPhone, okay? Now let's deal with one to the left. So for the include argument, I'm going to open parentheses. And I'm going to give this entire date value again. I want to check whether it is greater than or equals to. Now, I'm going to type in the left function. So I'm going to extract in memory the leftmost date. That's the 1st of January 2022. So the test is going to be C1. Now, I need to make this one to be mixed cell reference in Excel. So F for key 1, 2. Now, in this case, we have locked down the row number 1 only. Okay, while column C is relative. Because column C will move to column D, E, and F when we copy the formula across. So I'm going to copy this in memory because I need it often. So, come on. Now, for the numchar argument of the left function, I want to find the position of the hyphenated between the two date value. And to do that, I'm going to use the find text function. So, type in find. Now, I want to find what? I want to find this iPhone between the two dates. So, I'm going to inside double quotes. Put in the iPhone because it is a string in Excel. So comma. Now within which text within the same text C1. So I'm going to paste that and the start number argument inside the square bracket of the find function is optional. So I'm going to skip that. So close the bracket for the find and let's go for the close for the left and let's just evaluate this small portion of the formula by pressing the F9 key on the keyboard. Now you can see we have almost successfully extracted the leftmost date value in cell C1. However, we need to take care of this iPhone. So to do that, Control Z and carefully after this, um, close bracket for the left, I'm going to do minus one. So the minus one will take care of the iPhone. So I reevaluate F9 key. Cool. We've been able to in memory extract the leftmost date in cell C1. So Control Z. Now, when I Close this bracket for now and try to evaluate um, this small portion of the formula of the include argument. And I press um, F9 key to evaluate. Now we have bunch of force. Now that's not what we want. I'm going to press Ctrl Z. Now carefully after this close bracket, I'm going to do minus zero. Now when I do minus zero and I evaluate it again, let me just take all this F9. That's going to give me bunch of truths. Now when I Ctrl Z and let's just close the filter formula for now and f9 key like you see it gave us this you know cedar number and we are getting to where we are going so ctrl z now i'm going to come here and backspace so we've been able to successfully extract the leftmost date value in cell c1 in memory now let's deal with the one to the right so for the one to the right i'm going to use the right text function so use the 
Asterix multiplication sign, which simply means the and logical operation. So open bracket. Now I want to check this state value. I want to say less than or equals to. Then I'm going to type in the right function. Now the text is going to be the same. C1 comma. Now the norm char in this case, I'm going to find the length of the text. I'm going to use the length function, which simply means length. Control V close and I'm going to minus that from using the find. Now I want to find the space, I mean the hyphen again. So inside the code, uh, iPhone comma within the same text. So I can close, close the um, find and close the right for now. Okay, so we are back to the include arguments. Now I'm going to do minus zero. I can close the second um, argument here. Of the include um, the second bracket of the include and then close the um, filter now but before we move ahead let's just try to evaluate this small portion of the formula using the, uh, the right so i'm going to just copy the section and let's f9 now you can see we've been able to extract the rightmost did value which is 31st of um March 2022, and that's fine. Control C. Now, this is our formula. When I control enter, see what happens. Amazing. So, we can see we've been able to extract these are the dates that falls between the false. 1st of January to 31st of um, March 2022. Okay, now I can just come here and just drag the formula across to column F. I'm gonna release the button. This is the moment of truth. Amazing. This is cool. Now let's just check around how many number we have here. We have count of 19 date values in our data set. And let me just you know, take all this block and you can see we have the same 19 counts. So if you check around, you can see these are the date value for the second quarter. This is 23rd of June. Uh, this is 4th of April. And let's move to the third quarter. Uh, you can see these are the date that falls between 4th of um, July to 30th of September, you can see, and for the December, you can see we have the November dates. November, so this is basically how we can extract date values between two dates from a list in Microsoft Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel because there's a lot to come. Thank you, and bye for now. Cheers.